केवल कैवल सूत्र द फोर्थ चैप्टर फर्स्ट वर्स इन पदंजलि से वो सूत्र हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थर्ड सूत्र सब्जेक्ट द साइंस ऑफ मेरा The first sutra itself, Patanjali talks beautifully, step by step, the science of miracles. Get the book. Janma, Aum Shadi, Mantra, Tapa, Samadhi Chara, Siddhaya. जन्म औषधि मंत्र तप समाधि सिद्धया स्वामी विवेकानंद ट्रांसलेट दि सूत्र एस द सिद्धि सर पावर्स आर अटेन बाय बर्थ केमिकल मीन्स पावर ऑफ वर्ड्स मॉडिफिकेशन आर कंसंट्रेशन So my Prabhupada translates as the psychic powers may be attained, obtained either by birth or by means of dress or by power of words or by the practice of austerities or by concentration. Siddhis, so my Sachinanda translates as Siddhis are born of practices performed in previous births or by deaths. Mantra repetition, asceticism, or by samadhi. Bhagavan also translates this as the powers are revealed at birth, are acquired through drugs, repeating sacred words, austerities, or samadhi. I humbly disagree with all the translations. With all my due respects to all the Great masters, I wanted to repeat. I humbly disagree with all the translations. Unfortunately, all these translations are done by the masters after the British era, where much of this science and knowledge of old cities are lost. Um, I am not boasting, uh, egoistic. I just wanted to pres present the facts in front of you. I had the fortune of sitting at the feet of few people. We had the complete knowledge of all dimensions of cities. So I take up the sutra, break word by word. First, I explain why I differ. Next, I say what really I wanted to express. Third, is really Patanjali wanted my interpretation, what I am expressing. But I am trying to convey, so I will do this step by step because this one sutra understood properly opens thousands of doors, not just for miracle powers or psychic powers. It opens the door for very enlightenment itself. I call. Enlightenment has complete when extraordinary powers and experiences expresses to you. Please understand. There are hundreds and hundreds of masters saying, "Siddhis are not required to be expressed 
allow me to make them. I do accept, but at least from my experience and an analysis, thoroughly, there is no master who is truly enlightened and through whom cities are not expressed. You cannot hide enlightenment in a single body. Understand, it is not like some ornament or a weapon. You can have it in your case. No. You can't possess it. That possesses you. <laughs> you do not create context. Context creates you. I will explain the keywords in this sutra. Keywords are Janma Aushadi Mantra Tapa Samadhi Siddhi But through medicines or drugs Unfortunately, maybe the lack of words, or I don't know, these words are being translated in a very incomplete way by many of the different translators, especially the Siddhi word. When this word Siddhi is translated as just psychic powers or mental powers, the whole sutra loses its strength. Especially because of the word drug, medicine happens. All masters took up the meaning of miracle or the psychic powers to the sama, to, to the word city because nobody can trust, nobody is able to think sama, the city, the ultimate enlightenment itself or the kaivalya itself can be experienced just by medicines. I am telling you from my authority and all the great masters at whose feet I sat and learned from their authority, enlightenment, the ultimate spiritual experience can be experienced just straight by medicines, not the drugs, please understand, not the LSD or other addictive drugs, no through proper Siddha medicines which raises your consciousness and awareness 
more and more and more the direct complete enlightenment itself can be achieved just through aushad please understand not only the lsd drugs cannot lead you to enlightenment or extraordinary powers it can only disturb your health but i tell you the siddha tradition as enough of medicines herbs not only which can give the extraordinary powers it can lead you to directly enlightenment there are some masters who believe the siddha medicines the aushadas can give extraordinary powers but not enlightenment itself but i tell you from my experience the attainment siddhi when i say the word attainment i mean kaivalya establishing yourself in enlightenment which expresses extraordinary powers and experiences which expresses extraordinary powers and experiences not just being in samadhi please understand and defining kaivalya siddhi exactly as patanjali wants many translators tend to translate this word siddhi as just psychic powers and mental powers if that is the case why patanjali is keeping this sutra as a first sutra in kaivalya pada please understand the last chapter patanjali is completely explaining about different mental powers psychic powers and different miracles if the word siddhi is supposed to be translated as miracles or psychic powers patanjali would have kept this sutra in last chapter and he is introducing here a new chapter kaivalya pada why did he talk about something else in the first sutra so we need to understand when patanjali means siddhi he means establishing yourself in enlightenment which expresses extraordinary powers and experiences kaivalya so the word siddhi should not be translated as psychic powers or mental powers it should be translated as attainment establishing yourself in enlightenment which expresses extraordinary powers and experiences and the great knowledge the ability to reproduce the same experiences in others through the words initiation and by the mere presence the ability to transmit ability to be established and transmit the enlightenment experience and extraordinary powers and experiences that's what i call as kaivalya attainment siddhi the word siddhi cannot be superficially translated as psychic powers or just mental powers now let's analyze this sutra janma by birth you can radiate this quality only these beings are called incarnations people express this qualities by birth aushadi here i need to introduce the great science of alchemy just by the proper herbs siddha medicines na 
not only you can experience extraordinary powers and experiences, you can experience and get established in enlightenment itself. Please understand. My young age, I have seen hundreds of ways the extraordinary powers and capabilities expressed by my own masters, the Siddhas. And I wanted to go for Parivraj at the age of 12. My master, Kumpamba, Yugudananda, she started sending me, she inspired me to travel to different pilgrimages, different places, temples. This pilgrimage is my life. There are some things I can say I am fanatic about. That one is temple, means building temples. Second, visiting temples. Just yesterday, all my routine got over. All my commitments like a inner awakening, NSP and everything. Today I am disappeared. I am going for some temples. Not only I go on creating temples, I always love to visit temples. Of course, let me correct my word. I am not disappearing, I am going to different temples. <laughs> You don't know who are all watching and what meaning they will make for it. When I wanted to travel to different places after she inspired, she just gave me one small room in a particular plan and told me whenever I feel hungry, just scratch just rub that hair on my stomach or on the liver area. I don't know how you will be. I used the hair from the age of 12 to 25 till I settled back into my body after realizing my avataric mission. The purpose of my life, I realized it at the age of 25. Sorry, 22, 2000, 2000, January 1st. That was the time I had a very strong experience there. I was revealed my life's mission and equipped with all the powers and experiences necessary to execute that mission. Then it took one year to settle into the body and start the mission. So till I settle, I use that hell. I don't know how many hundreds of times, if not thousands. Every time I use that hell, hunger and thirst just disappear. Please understand, just disappear. Unfortunately, I have that hell. Still it is there. And I will prove scientifically the power of that hell. I have seen in my life these herbs give the extraordinary powers and experiences. I can tell you from my predecessor's life, one a Daikada Siddha, who was in Arunachala, who is my predecessor, he received enlightenment just by herb. His guru, Namanada Siddha, was going for a walk and he saw this Daikada, a shepherd boy, very obedient, respectful, asking the Guru for the blessings of blessings to attain enlightenment or Kaivalya, ultimate. All Namanas in that day, is he got a small cup of milk and he plucked some hair, mixed it 
asked him to drink that shepherd drank he became enlightened and he died card how nice of you to have a pill for enlightenment not only i will make i will prove to society siddha tradition still has secret herbs which can awaken your non mechanical parts of the brain and make you establish in enlightenment and can give you the extraordinary powers and experiences by birth and by medicines and by mantra sound mantra sound can not only give you the extraordinary powers and experiences it can directly lead you to be established in the ultimate enlightenment itself mantra sound can lead to extraordinary experiences and being established in enlightenment kaivalya see the sound of kaivalya is meditated upon you experience kaivalya the sound of kaivalya is the okara which cannot be contained just inside the a u m o syllable o is only a deity of real okara that itself is not okara please understand Omkara is the uncreated sound, anagata dhvani of universe, kaivalya. When you meditate upon that, you will experience being established in enlightenment and extraordinary powers and experiences. the fourth word fourth day is tapa austerity austerity is not complete word but i am using the word austerity because lack of word the society from which this language is created english they do not know the concept of tapa so only the superficial word austerity can be used i'll translate the word tapa exactly the ability to be with the ultimate truth and allowing that truth to express through your body and mind trusting it even before you experience it so through the trust be open to those great powers and experiences to express through your system is tapa you may not be enlightened now but trusting the great truth of enlightenment and allowing that great truth to express through your body and mind being a channel for the great truth to express itself through you is what i call tapa be available with a deep trust for the great truths even before you experienced it in the factual level bringing actuality to factuality is tapas next samadhi means that glimpse of kaivalya understand glimpse of samadhi is sadhuri glimpse of kaivalya is samadhi samadhi means experiencing the extraordinary opening into the cosmos kaivalya means not only experiencing expressing the extraordinary powers and capacities and experiences of samadhi please understand samadhi is like a becoming a king of a country kaivalya is like a 
ruling property. Radiating Samadhi is Kailalaya. So all this why directly leads to attainment of Kaivalya means not only enlightenment expressing the extraordinary experiences and powers of enlightenment. That is what Patanjali calls by the word Siddhi. Not just psychic powers or occult powers or mystic powers are called Siddhi. Siddhi means establishing yourself in enlightenment and expressing the extraordinary powers and experiences of enlightenment. Please understand. There was always a fight between these two groups teacher gurus and mystic gurus. The teacher gurus who does not express or have these extraordinary powers and experiences, they go on abusing the mystic gurus who have expresses extraordinary powers and experiences. Understand the real Kaivalya is establishing yourself in enlightenment and expressing extraordinary powers and the experiences to transmit this enlightenment to the next generation. These teacher gurus always abuse mystic gurus and these mystic gurus do not abuse because when you don't have money, when you are poor, you always abuse the rich people and try to be communist and try to do all the things to destroy the richness of the rich people. It's jealous. But when you are rich, you just do your job. Once in a while, the mystic gurus have to reply back to shut his teacher gurus. I tell you, the combination of mystic guru and teacher guru is happening first time in me. Unfortunately, all these mystic gurus do not have the orating capacity to compete with these teacher gurus and break their logic with their own logic. See, all the mystic gurus they will express the mystic powers. Unfortunately, they were never orators. They never challenge these teacher gurus, these sad gurus. Always these teacher gurus will be orators. Loud more. But will not have the power to express extraordinary powers. And same way mystic gurus, they will express extraordinary powers and miracles. Will not be able to stand in the stage and express this whole thing as a science. I can give you hundreds of examples for teacher gurus and mystic gurus. First time, I am not only a mystic guru, I can challenge the logic of the teacher gurus. I want to tell all the teacher gurus, sad gurus, what you are doing is wonderful work. But stop abusing these mystic gurus. Stop claiming monopoly over spirituality. <laughs> now these teacher gurus have got a lot of confusion to the paradigm. Without understanding the whole truth, these fools do not know what a joy is experienced by disciples and devotees when some extraordinary powers and experiences are shared. Understand the essence of the Sutra by birth, by medicines, Siddha medicines, 
by the sound, by tapa, austerity, by enlightenment, samadhi. The kaivalya, city. City means being established in enlightenment, radiating and sharing the extraordinary powers and experiences. This is what I call city. This is what Padanjali wants to call as city. This can be attained through all the above five means. This is the sacred secret Padanjali wants to reveal to the world through the Sutra. In the next satsangs, I will explain sacred secrets in every word, Janama, Aushadi, Mantra, Tapa, Samadhi. So that the deeper and deeper understandings and experiences lands on all of you. I bless you all. We are sitting with us at this moment at least 580 places through NTV and 6 places in two-way connection in 154 cities in 20 countries. I bless you all to achieve, experience, live, express, radiate and share the eternal bliss Nityananda.